I got something to say. What's up? What's on your mind? Do you have something to say? I always have a lot to say. Oh, okay. Always. I think we should start a TV show or a talk show. Okay. And then we should discuss what we go through as creatives. That's a really And then good share idea. that with audiences. I think that's a good idea. What we oh, call? wait. We already got one of those. <laughs> and it's season three. <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is season three of LeMay Day Limelight. You are tuned in to the best duo in town. I am Ew. Sharique LeMay, this is... j Penn. you know what it is. You already know what it is, and it is season three of LeMay Day Limelight. Oh. How you doing? We got a new set. We got a new set. Shout out to Herman King from HKC yes. Designs. We switched it up this season. You know, we're like, let's let's make something a little more personal. A little more intimate. You know, something with a little special a touch. Little intimate. Yeah, right and um, yeah, I think I like what we came up with. With. Make sure you tune in too at the end of this episode because we have a special little video snippet of how we came up with oh, this yeah. gorgeous set and oh, our yeah. wonderful uh, <laughs> IKEA haul, which was lots and lots of fun. Oh man! Oh, we've missed you guys. Yes. Like we've seriously missed you. We've you know we've been on hiatus for a little bit, but we're back with season three. And after some thought process, Sharik and I thought we should change up the format of the show a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we've had some amazing guests on the show. Shout out to all of our guests. Mm -hmm. I think we've gotten we've dropped. Uh, some good knowledge. We've gotten some gems from them. Absolutely. Um, but I think we wanted to re-divert some of that focus back to us and what it is that we have to share with our audience. Yeah, as far as being a creative, what it means to be completely engulfed into your career, mm -hmm. some different tips and trades and things that you need to probably consider when you're pursuing this creative journey that you mm -hmm. have. And then he and I have both been hitting the pavement, moving listen, this whole year, listen. going to all kinds of networking events. And Summer mixers. 2019 was something else. And I just, honestly, I think that you and I have grown so much. Yeah. And I think we're at we're in different positions in our careers that um, we have insight to give. Yes. And that's, I think that's the trajectory that we're trying to be on yeah. with LeMay Day Limelight. That was the goal from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we want to stay on that path. And um, that's what we want to give to y'all. Definitely. So how was your summer what would you say is something that you've learned this summer that may have changed you in any way um i want to say like the biggest thing really was taking ownership of myself right. and knowing my worth mm -hmm. um and just really really respecting myself as a business person mm -hmm. you know and 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 treating myself as such my brand my name my face all of that is part of what i consider it's my business. personal business yes. and so what some of the projects that I worked on um, this year kind of mm -hmm. showed me that I, there's a lot of value that yeah. I bring. And um, I think that's just one of the main things that I just wanted to, to navigate with because I used to struggle with that a lot. I used mm -hmm. to I used to undervalue myself and I don't want to do it's that anymore. Thing. Yeah, definitely. So well, that's awesome. Anything new? Um, I mean, you know, I, I, I was I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, a couple of things. Um, the My first issue as senior editor for Obvious Magazine comes out this fall. I've already contributed yes. to them in the past, but yes. um, the first published issue that I've featured in comes out this fall, which is really exciting. Um, I did some really dope interviews. Yes. When that comes out, by all means, I'm going to shout you out. Much love to my Obvious Magazine yes. crew. And then, of course, still shout out to my crew at SoCal Mag, which I'm also a senior editor there. Um, uh, highlighting <laughs> highlighting just, culture for SoCal, yeah. You just say it like, oh, I'm just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know. Out here doing amazing things, just mm. whatever. What about you, Mama? Oh goodness, where do I start? Well, Ooh. this has been a uh, transitional year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, we always have our positive party, and my one word for this year was surrender. Mm -hmm. So I surrender to myself and mm -hmm. to my career. I quit three jobs. This <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. It really it, and it be like that. It, it's like that. So this was the first time this year since I've been in LA not having a job yeah. or like an actual nine to five, yeah. and it's it's scary, mm -hmm. but it's it's it feels like freedom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It yes. feels like freedom, and then it's like now you got to really get out there and hustle. You mm -hmm. have to really go for the gusto. Yep. And Lamede Productions is a thing, and it's what I'm dedicating all of my time and all of my life to and you know make sure you check out Lamede Productions website lamede.com backslash productions mm -hmm. um, I was able to do some production work on the Tiana Taylor music video yep. featuring it King Holmes it was amazing dope, shout dope, out dope. to Rich and Dakota and Maurice and 
and Dom and everybody that was a part of the medic crew, Malik, that came on set and we killed mm -hmm. it, we murdered it, we took it over and it was an amazing opportunity and I think our price went up. You know, it the happened. value. The value, the went, value up. went up. You know, so. Because we're in demand. Book us. Book. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's been pretty much my summer and just it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, our first episode last season, we talked about mental health. Yep. So that's all. And we're going to touch thing. on that a little bit more this season. I think that's a constant thing, especially mm -hmm. as creatives that, you know, you got to be aware of, maybe mm -hmm. be mindful of. So we're definitely going to touch on that. Um, I think we're also going to touch on sex this season, something we've we never spoken about, about creatives and sex. We talked about relationships. We have, you know, but that's we will dive a little deep. You know, I know what y'all want to know. <laughs> you know. Another thing I do want to talk about this season too is the point where you are letting go of the nine to five life. Mm -hmm. how, how is that transition? Yep. Do you absolutely need to transition? Because right. there are some people that will say, "Hey, you can still do." Yeah, both. you can balance. You can yeah. be. An it just, I think it just depends on your goals and what what you have going on, and you know how you personally balance. Yeah, and how it's set, yeah. how it's basically set up for you. So that's mm -hmm. always a thing. We're, we're gonna talk about time management. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about creatives and cannabis. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about creatives and forgiveness that's a big one listen listen this season we have just we have some really unique perspectives yes. that we want to give definitely and we still will be having some interviews some snippets yes some we'll definitely have we'll some have guests that. we'll actually even have a guest on episode two there we go yeah so love it mm -hmm. well thanks for rocking with us this is a very brief episode but again make sure you tune in right after this so you can see our ikea haul of how we can yeah this listen so i give y'all a certain persona on the show but i'm a clown and i think <laughs> like you'll you'll see that on this ikea trip it was fun it was fun thank you guys thank you shout out to hkc designs for our lovely new set it's exciting. i hope y'all like it I'm follow us too all right <laughs> get it all it. right we are heading into ikea there's heather there's jp and the professional himself <laughs> We're about to uh, get some stuff to revamp our set, make it look a little more posh, if, yeah. if not. Because we're getting a whole new set this yeah, we season. Are. Yeah. You know it goes down. Yes. So, all right, let's do it. So this is supposed to be a trip for, um, you know, to decorate the set, but uh, Sharif wanted to get food first. <laughs> so we, we haven't even gotten... Not have energy. <laughs> gotten anything for the set. Um, so I went ahead and got me some chicken centers. So I don't care. <laughs> okay, so now we will go and shop. Bam. Can we get like those gold shells you're talking about? Or you get like a half a... That'd be cute. Oh yeah, you, I think you could hang because it's got like a little, little holes you can put in there. This is growing up. <laughs> well, this is our mid-century room. This is our mid-century room. This is the mid-century room. Okay. It's gonna get you like that 70s. So it does I don't 70s. like it, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah. So Let's cute. Do it. So cute. Did you get that in your back? Oh, I is it no, bad cool. to get fake plants? No. But I feel like I'm cheating on life in adulthood if I can't keep a plant alive. You ain't sold no album in 10 years, <laughs> plus the five albums that other people did buy. <laughs> so you just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you ain't got no money. A texture? Yeah. Ooh, what do you mean by texture? Explain. No. <laughs> hey, go, 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 go. Bust it. Get go, go, go. Okay, she has on. Josh, you gonna steal it? I'm gonna steal it, look. You gonna trip her, then I'm gonna gank it, and we gonna run. We're not that far from the exit now, so. With the Mighty Ducks? Yes. <laughs> For the Mighty Ducks? The Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Look, yo, Amazon has everything. I wanted that girl's shirt. You can't say Amazon inside of IQ, you gonna get a shot. I didn't want to leave without getting a frozen beverage and a hot dog. But we got everything we needed for the show. So stay tuned. We're yes. going to leave. We're not going to show you what we did mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Shout out to our crew. Yeah. Sticking it in there with us. We've been here for hours. But it was fun talking. Did you have fun? I did. I did have fun. So We're getting old because I had fun. <laughs> in Ikea. <laughs> in Ikea. <laughs> All right, y'all. 
Josh, any final work? Okay, he's gonna go get more stuff for his hot dog. Okay, so we're out of here and stay tuned. The Mayday Limelight. What? Leave it, I can't! And this man's still in here looking around for stuff. What is he getting? What are you getting, Josh? What are you doing, Josh? We're ready to go, Josh. Let's go. Come on, let's go.